Oh, huh? with picture. Let's go. You can fucking play Crash 2 right here. Do you want to try? No, this <laughs> is not with this controller. Oh, huh? with, with picture. Let's go. Is the game frozen? No. Oh, how do you actually, um, what's it called, like, Just go out of the level? Select. Oh, like, so like in Crash 1. Oh, I see. Select. I always go down to work room. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's get the cutscenes good feed. Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Probably not gonna get it. Please get it. Yes. I, <laughs> didn't, I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the problem with RTA. Basically, there's like a fast intro skip and a slow one, and I just got the slow one. Yeah, you can. That's impossible to get the uh, what's it called the fast one on emulator for some reason. And on fastest speed. Not either. No. <laughs> Good start. All right, I didn't get stuck in the mud. Alright, so as you see, this game's movement is... It looks really fast, and it, it really is. It's basically called a uh, neutral slide spin. What we do is we um, slide, and then we let go of the directional button in mid-slide, and then we spin. If you don't let go of the directional button, um, for us in this case, we use D-pad. We'll get into more why we use D-pad. Um, but uh, neutral slide spin, like... Like, if you don't let go of the directional button, your slide spin will be really slow. But, but you have... I got the... I got the pixel line thing. Ah, the pixel perfect, yeah. Yeah. That is a pixel, like... Twice in a row? <laughs> That's never happened before. <laughs> add it, add it, right now. Add it right now. Give it two, because that happened, like, twice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Three times! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I'm gonna game over. <laughs> this race, dude. I'm gonna go in the pits now. This game is bad. <laughs> okay, that really has never Please. happened before. Oh not, my not god. Not that much. Three deaths. And... Okay, screw that. Screw that. I'm gonna fall down. You won. We don't know See, that yet. I can't slide spin either. I'm like fucking terrible that was right now. the worst level of my life. <laughs> Alright. How do I do commentary after that? <laughs> Just say something. This is no go abuse, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going to lose all my lives. Alright. Well, well, you can still game over. You just can't abuse it. Yeah. Alright, well. Besides that... Level one. Um, you can slowly get a sub fifty, hypothetically. I think, yeah, I can. <laughs> well, okay. So this game has, um, yeah, the mechanic, like I said before, if you don't let go of the directional button in mid slide, your slide spin will be a lot slower. <laughs> and um, but you have control over crash. So um, his movement speed is really fast, so you can slide over like several holes, like you see when you do here. Um, you can slide over the one on the ice, but... Do you do that one? No. Yeah. It's like... Fade. Yeah, you die most of the time. <laughs> I bet... Chat freaking exploded doing that first level. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Alright, so, um, Pete's in air, uh, hang eight, sorry, and if you go through the level really fast, you get, like, the speed gem, which is the counter at the bottom. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you don't need it because it wastes time. Yeah, you waste, see. you waste four seconds if you grab, uh, gems in the game. So, there is a part where you have a chance of getting a gem, it's really obvious, but we don't grab it because, you, first of all, you get a cutscene, and he has to pull that out of the pocket thing. 
Nice. <laughs> oh. We're not gonna get sub 9 or room 1, man. Oh, yeah. I always am, I think. I, don't know. I, I never pay attention to my time. So I, Smash that fast. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, well. I do it anyway. <coughs> yeah, see, like right there, I did two um, non-neutral slide spins. As you can see, the slide, the sliding part or the spin part of uh, the, s the slide was really slow. So um, there's a lot of useless stuff in this game that just so happens to be frame perfect. That's not too hard to get because this game runs at a really low frame rate. Uh, 25 it's FPS. Like we should probably explain when we're using PAL. Uh, explain. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, PAL. PAL is faster because Crash has um, uh, buffed movement speed um, in the PAL version. And there's also a PAL only trick in the final warp room uh, in two levels, on the jetpack level. We'll yeah. show it when you get there. Probably saves about eight seconds total. Maybe a little more, but yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of games that are faster on PAL, but this one happens to be. We thought... Yeah, they did. And, whoa, God. Um, for a while we thought both oh. Crash 1 and 3 were faster on PAL, but uh, it wasn't. Uh, three wasn't faster because of masks. Oh yeah, in this game, um, third mask form or um, invincibility form is slower because you um, your slide spin like speed gets totally. Um, oh wow, that was like I think a pixel off getting it again. Basically, with invin invincibility, every oh, fuck. <laughs> um, every like way of movement gets. Uh, on the same speed, so you can crawl really, really fast, and you can just slide spin really, really slow. That's about it. Um, yeah, invincibility forms useless in every level except one. I do it in two levels because safe strat. It's like three seconds slower, I think, two or three. I never bother oh. timing it. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> it's. It's just for the sake of getting the pass for level 16. So level 16 in this game has um, the um, the third mask form like you need. Because when you're hanging on monkey bars in the sewer levels, you um, you climb really, really fast. And you can just speed through the whole section. And it saves 20 seconds, and that's the only time masks will ever come in handy. Monkey bars. So, um... I'll probably do some like non-neutral side spin here, slide spins here, because there are fences in this level, and to get around them, you have to. Uh, like, well, to get to, for me to get around them, I usually just do non-neutral ones. Okay. Walking while talking is pretty sticky. That one was not. Yeah, you're like a good 20 ahead. This boss. What's the goal of this boss? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do to mess around in this boss. Yeah, that's the goal. Mess around as much as you can. Wait. He's timed. That's really Is it nothing. okay for me to chime in a second? Uh, donation? Yep. Yeah, sure. Okay, we have uh, two dollars from Martin Kinsman asking Tingles Palace to sing for us. We also have ten dollars from Andrew Pritchard saying, Burnsaw here, just wanted to put my money towards my man Ricky on the couch. You rock, dude. And we have five dollars from Peter Derek saying, Hippie here, I want to see Ricky dance on stream. Also, tell... No, I'm sorry. No, also. Crazy. 
Also, you can step on the TNTs as well. Nothing will happen. You can try spinning them, you can try sliding them. No, nothing will really happen. Just be aware of the night It's not like I didn't dive in this boss before. I did. In races. Tried to not messing around. <laughs> That's the one we're gonna do. Pay attention to it. <laughs> so I know how to do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Um, in Crash 3, the Oops. dance is skipped on... Uh, nice. The, the dance is like skipped in after every bot or something, right? Crash um, 3 and NTSC. After Tiny, sometimes after Dingadale, it's still a mystery. And <laughs> Oh, it's, yeah. It doesn't happen in, in Trophy. Oh shit, I'm just standing still. Holy shit. And it. <laughs> how, for how long? Oh crap. For how long did I do that? <laughs> Alright. Crap. Oh, yeah, and after engine, they can't be a dance okay. because you're in like. ship thing. So, um. One what? thing we need to explain right now is there's something in the game that. We just call it, we call it ice physics. It also transfers over in the set in the third game where it's a, where it's oil physics. Um, basically, if you like, ice is really fast in this game. Okay, good. Um, and you can abuse it once you land from um, like hitting ice. If you keep jumping, uh, you can carry like the ice physics momentum kind of thing, and you get like a really stiff and fast movement. The Taz abuses it a lot, but the Taz is really outdated as well. So. And to get out of the whole like slide, um, like to to keep the physics, it's like one or two frames. I tried to Taz it, but my my um, keyboard screwed up that day. Oh yeah, you're not uh, you're not forced to go and a certain level of order so you can just go in a warp room and take whatever order you want in yeah. that warp room. But in this game you really don't need a route. You just go through every level, make sure you don't get any invincibilities except like some parts. That's pretty um for the two first warp room, I think we used the same route as well. So and I'll just do what I yeah, like. <laughs> just do whatever. But usually when everything goes good you kinda just go for the same thing. Um, there's like a damage boost there to get over the fence. It's like one second or something. I think that's like a thing I discovered on accident or something. Um, oh yeah. Uh, nope, I'm not gonna that. Good, alright. Um, what was I saying like before? I think I was saying something about like, uh, yeah, level order. The only thing you need in this game is just have two masks for level 16, and also just have oh. two masks <laughs> for level 12. And that's about it. And you're fine. Yeah, pretty much. It shouldn't be that hard to keep. It's the only levels you need to worry about masks. Okay, these bear, le bear levels, the fastest way to move is basically charge jumping, instead of just trying to charge some points. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Basically, um, he's trying to, like, if you press circle, you do, like, a dash. And, um, like, very slightly later, he does a jump, so you, like, boost forward like that. There's two of these levels. Two and a half. Come on, unbearable. Is there some oh, yeah, three. Um, as far as, okay, so one thing you may have seen so far is that when we're in the air, we do something called uh, zigzagging, and this counts for all the original crash, ga crash games, actually. Um, if you zigzag in the, while you're in the air, you can do it on the ground, but it's not friendly at all. It's, like, very <coughs> precise. Um, you basically, it's, it's really weird how it works, but you scroll pixels forward when you jump. And it can actually save you up to like a good 30 seconds throughout the whole game. Maybe more if you're like really good at it. It depends on how good you are. 
And since this game runs at like a pretty low frame rate, it's, it does save a lot of time actually. So there's one thing I don't really know it, but sometimes you get like further than. Like, I've seen that. Before. Yeah, you. And then it never yeah. happens. Sometimes you get like you like fly further than normal. I don't know what it is. I've tried everything. I think it happens at random. Maybe you try it for it. This is the glitchiest level in the game as well. Oh yeah. Level nine. Don't trust the walls. They are not walls. Um, the there's hallways. a box at the end. If you s try to spin it, like you try to go over the spot where you spun it at, it falls to the ground. And <laughs> let's hope we don't get backwards boosts. Um, the arrow pads in this level can send you backwards through the floor. Last time I show it up. Oh, okay, good. See, I would have died if I didn't say exact there. It's especially like Again. a certain boost, like boost pad. I didn't. Right. I don't want that happening. Well, it's always funny because I always have the same reaction, although I shouldn't see it coming by now. Yeah. Oh, it's just like, what? And then, I shouldn't know it. So, um, two shout outs. Um, Solo Bowler. Yeah, he has the world record, 46-35. Really good run. Beats the Taz as well. <coughs> um, the Taz uses um, old movement, so very old movement. It's outdated. So he managed to beat that. First to get a 46. Really good time. And uh, I guess shout outs to Pierre Hiko for um, making the glitch test and for finding... Well, he was the first person I saw who had like neutral slides. Like, we got neutral slides from the test. So, that's how I discovered it. Sewer levels have split pads, but mostly it's just go left. It's, yeah, just go left, then you're good. Anytime you can, just go left, unless it's like a certain like, death loop or something. Yeah. That's for the whole game, really. This 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 uh, level has a really weird route on 100. percent Not too weird, actually. <laughs> well, oh yeah, there are weirder. Oh, I didn't jump. I'm without a mess. All right, I want to keep this one because um, the Komodo brothers give you like a free mask, and level 12 is the next is the level you need to for. So heading to there first would be a good choice if I have two masks anyway. If I don't have them, I'll just try to get them throughout the workroom. How many do you have? One? None. <laughs> oh wow. Just go to like unbearable then. I'll come up with something. Oh, the checkpoint, whatever. I'm not gonna die. You say that yeah, now. <laughs> I'm gonna say that now. <laughs> we'll see. I never died in the section, and I have a mask, so I should be good. Oh yeah, if you skip the cutscene too fast in this boss fight, you will just like keep on getting hit, getting hit until you die. Yeah, your mask will get drained. It's, it's like some weird glitch, I don't know why. So yeah, we watched the cutscene like for a second. Yeah, that guy came. Also, um, uh, we thought the boss was random, like RNG for a while, but it turns out he's actually controllable. But like, we still, <laughs> yeah, we still kind of don't know. But like, I think I know how it works anyway. Um, so if you, um, um, if you like stay away from him, basically, if you either get hit or Komodo Joe, that's the guy spinning around. Um, if he's really close to you or you get hit, he will spin for a longer duration than you're supposed to. Like now. He did? Yeah. How much? I don't know, three seconds. Nice. <coughs> oh, I should be lining that up. I can save like a second to not let him hit the wall and then hit him.
Let's see if I get a good stop pattern. I may stop. Ah, uh, what? Fuck. It's fine. What happened? Oh, it's off block. <laughs> For real? Yeah, you have to. You, have to. you hit it on the exact frame when you crash it. Like, do a stance. Put another one over there. <laughs> it happened to me once. It's not, at least it's not a soft block. Like, it's some kind of soft block. In this game, you can just recover from soft blocks if you. Why am I getting all this stuff? <laughs> that one's never happened before, actually. That other one, I've seen kind of rarely, but it doesn't really happen in runs. That's stupid. <laughs> what other stuff will I get? I'm really wondering. I'll get like a. This then is I'll a get like, stuck in the road to ruin or This is a terrible time already. <laughs> oh. Uh, the three of the ones, it's like a whole line of pixel. It's <laughs> like, that's, it's not like a frame. <coughs> um, basically you can fall through for like, yeah, it's like, um, that's kind of hard to explain. Like, up the pit there is, um, a room of pixels where you can fall through. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. Guess I'll go to plant food. I'm, going for, I'm not going for the dance now, I guess. Okay. Well, not this one anyway, but I'll go for the other one. Yeah, there he... Oh, one. Okay, I got the same thing as Pete. Three more seconds. Okay. I cancelled the dance somehow. Have you had that happen? Pete? Cancel the dance? Yeah, I cancelled the dance and you had to re-enter the boss. Oh. What I just got. Yeah, I had that. Like couple of days ago, I think, or a week ago, and I highlighted it, and I always beat in the bus, because <laughs> I was bored. That's your first level, right? For what? No, I did plan to. Oh, damn. That, this jump is kind of hard. Um, I'll try it again. Nice. All right, good. You need, um, you need to get on the like very edge, and then you need to exit in order to make that. This one as well. There's a lot of jumps where you need to exit. Hope I can keep this mask. So there's a part in this level that if I keep this mask, uh, I'll save 10 seconds, and if I don't keep it, I'll pretty much lose that time. But like. Having a mess for this level is also kind of needed because um, all right, this section. There's another mask, so I should be fine. Let's see if I get gray crystal. Oh, nice! I didn't get it. All right, so the crystal randomly turns gray sometimes, and it's the only level that does that. So this is why you need the mask for this level. Let that guy bite you, and you can pass those two. If you let the other two bite you. You'll um, freeze in place for a very short duration, so just get hit by the hardest back then. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this Lucky level great. Pete's on, Road to Ruin, has a really interesting like 100% um, route. He actually just passed by it. Um, there's a gem on the death route path, and you basically zigzag to it. You skip the whole death route path and just zigzag to him and die. That's the trick that got me the crash two disc. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like the 100% world record holder wanted uh, said that that trick was very very hard on console and much easier on emulator. And I, I was at that time on emulator and I said it's easy and it should be the same. And he didn't believe me and he said, okay, I have two discs. Uh, prove your point. I'll send you one of my discs and you will do it on console. And I did it on console, and now he's losing runs to that trick. <laughs> um, he used the pause buff for that trick, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, I'm not even. Yeah, we used to. Yeah. Um, and we're talking about um, Mr. Bean, 35,000 VR. He got a really good 100% run last month or so, I think. Ooh. 
The barrels. Are you in road to me? Oh, yeah, I'm two away. Alright, so I have two masks. Um, let's see if I get this. So, sometimes you can pass on through um, the second flame guy in this level. If you just hold up, up left, the flames like randomly scatter. So, um, sometimes you can pass him and it's like a. You ra really rarely get it. Not this first guy. The second I think one. it's more consistent than you can see because Crash Pro doesn't go. Oh, never mind. And I damage reduce through the guys because they piss me off. Let's see. I don't want to wait. Oh, almost. <coughs> I'm just gonna wait for this guy. Oh, please. They're not hard to get past. Nice. <laughs> oh, please. I usually never get like really get hit there. Alright, please just give me this. Thank you. <laughs> it's not that big of an issue. Since I lost some of my masks, I'm gonna have to wait for a couple of these guys, and that's why you need masks in this level. Just to damage buff with them. Um, as for racing this game and stuff, this is a really great race game. Uh, you should pick it up if you like Crash Bandicoot. Because it has very, very... Oh, what am I doing? It has very minor RNG. The only RNG there is is, is, is the third boss, and the rest is all up to level. Yeah. Wait, oh, did I say luck twice? Yeah, it's all up to luck. Uh, skill, please. <laughs> this game is all RNG. <laughs> nah, only the third boss is RNG. But that one's Oh, I've already done this level. Is that your last level too? Mm -hmm. Indeed it is. Damn, I'm like a level behind. I've done bad mistakes too. Yeah. I don't think any of us are getting sub 50. I don't really know. Uh, I hate this point coming up. Yeah, that's why I kind of walked to it. I never know when it is. I know I can definitely still get sub 50. What the heck? Oh, stuck in the boundaries. Oh, the check one is right there. <coughs> I've died so much this run. Pretty sure I can still get like a shitty 48 or something. Really? Oh, yeah. why, why not? <laughs> it could happen. I don't know if I can get 49. Probably can't. Oh, lag. It just depends on how well the rest of them. So this boss he's on right now is RNG. Kind of. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, a bit, and a bit of skill. And I failed that part. Just now. Well, jumping around is the skill part. The uh, platforms falling randomly is the luck part. You basically want, um, it's called uh, the plus pieces, and all the pieces that are shaped like a plus, what the hell? Okay. Basically not the corners. Yeah, you won't, You don't want the corners. So Pete just got two there, which is really good. And I mean that means you can like spin jump over and lure him over a pit. And that's how you hit him. So if you get a corner piece, if he gets it now, he's gonna lose time. But it is weird. Yeah, because oh, cool. you got a... Um, Who would have thought of that? I actually got a good tiny. Huh. Good. That never happens nowadays. Always managed, Boom! Managed just to make me lose like fucking 10 minutes or something. There it ends. Oh. Good enough. <coughs> Still have another level in this stupid warp room. So, um, I would say that probably Warp 4 is the hardest for speedrunning. I don't know if you think that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> never, I think, never really thought about that at all. Yeah. Just like, play the game. <laughs> I think, um, I think 4 is like, like 5 is somewhat hard because of the space levels, but it like tones it down because there's jetpack levels. 
Oh god. Am I good? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Did you uh... Where's my penguin? Yeah, I got hit. Did you do the switch, no, non-switch thing? Yeah. Nice. That's... So, um... Yeah. In this level, there's this special case that there's a death root and the death root is actually faster than the normal level. So, yeah, I'm here. Kinda like, on my verge. Oh, you have no mask? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you passed the hard part though. Oh, you got the gem. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Why did I get the gem? Oh. The gem wastes, um, three to four seconds, because he has to pull it out of his pocket, and he also has to... Another cutscene appears when you get a gem. There you go. Oh, what am I doing? Can't slide spin. It's weird how if you zigzag there, you like, get off. I don't know how that works. Yeah. At all. Sometimes it just gets stuck. Can't do it. Uh, this run's pretty bad, but let's see if I get good luck. <laughs> it's really rare that you get like three corner pieces on the first hit. That really rarely happens. Alright, I got two out of three. It's good. Nice. It's not that bad actually. It's think just I'll... going all the way to the left. Yeah, I think I'll go too. I may die. I don't really die to falling, I die more to uh, getting hit by the flame. Alright, so I got a two out of two on that one. It's good. Oh, I got a corner piece, but I almost tricked him into it. So. Another corner piece. I'm getting bad luck. He's gonna be a plus piece, another one. Yeah, I'm getting terrible luck. And the thing is, I'm almost tricking him into it, which is the bad part. Okay. Finally. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. Boom. I hate those barrels. Okay. That works. If you, like, spin them, they still move you. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. I hate when they do that. So, the level you see right now hanging out is the one you need two masks for. <laughs> two levels out of me. Damn. That's like a full, uh, two and a half minutes or so. Don't forget the first <laughs> guy. I always get hit by them. Still? <laughs> um, well, not always, but if I don't think, I get hit by him. Basically, I just, I sometimes think. I just slide spin straight out that door and just get hit by the guy and I screw up my invincibility for the level. He keeps the mask, you see how fast this is. So this is the level I do a safe strategy where I grab the invincibility. Uh, you just try to get two masks for Suo later and hanging out, and that's about it. I'm gonna skip the switch, Let's see if I get this. The rest doesn't really matter, as long as oh, you manage wow. to avoid invincibilities. There goes my death route, by the way. Wait, really? Yeah, I should've went for the switch. I missed the switch jump. Okay, this is the invincibility, and basically what you can do is just go in the ceiling grid if you want to, and go really, really fast or jump on these pipes. I jump on the pipes because it looks swaggy. And yeah, that's faster than just climbing. Yeah, so because the death route, it's called the death route because you need to go up to that point without dying. I need to go then. I haven't played the normal part in a, in a while. Oh, that was cool. I would probably fail in the normal part. How do you do the normal part? I <laughs> don't know. I haven't done it in years. Just, just do it, man. Just wing it. Yeah. No, this is going pretty well, so... This guy. How did I not get hit? He jumped. That's how he didn't get hit. But I saw him, like, stop in the air for a second. <coughs> and I apologize Whoa. for the coughing. So this is where you would pop out with the death root. Um, what my safe threat was in that I was going to grab an invincibility in the death root, just to plow through everything. Um, it's slower because you, uh, when you get out of the death root, 
you obviously, like you said, third mass form is slower. Um, third mass form doesn't slow you down on ice, so that's why it's still, whoa, somewhat viable. Oh. Ooh. Try to do now since I lost my masks. I'm gonna just try to farm them up for level 16. This used to be my run killer this level. I just jump at the beginning. Yeah. And <laughs> about the flame. That's better. One of the ones where Pal freezes. Um, I guess we we didn't really go over what no go abuses. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> damn. <laughs> That's one of the most important things about this category. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. You you go ahead. Uh, if Continue. you collect an objective like a crystal or a gem. <laughs> And then game over afterwards and click continue so that you wake up in the check in the warp room again. Uh, you can go to a different level, complete that, and you will pull out the crystal or gem that you collected before the game over. Yeah. So you can skip Store the it. so you can skip the end of the of certain levels um, if game overing is fast enough. Yeah, that's the any percent, and we're doing no go abuse, which means I think, I think I can demonstrate demonstrate. Oh, uh, I think I can demonstrate game over abuse after the run or something. Uh, I don't know, we're kind of behind schedule, I guess. We'll see if you can. Uh, Quickly chiming in to thank uh, Adam Mains for donating $10, saying, I don't have anything to say, so feel free to make something up. Also thanking Christian Muller for his $5 donation, saying, Pete OP, better nerf. Nise Dise, whatever. And uh, also saying that there are still $20 uh, missing to fill in the Crash Dance incentive. So if you want to see that Crash Dance, better get them $20 coming in. Oh, uh, uh, really? Now there goes 20 seconds. Too bad. So, yeah, you can just plow through. Like, the mask is coming up after this monkey bar. You can just plow through everything or go in the pipes. Um, I could probably make it. See, right here I will get it. Yeah, there's time to watch the game. If you get a lot of explosions on the screen, um, Sometimes just like the game, if you, especially when you hit like nitro switches, because everything on the map globally blows up. So, um, yeah, we're doing no go abuse, which is not abusing the glitch Pete just explained. Yep. Yeah, I, don't need, I don't need masks anymore. Um, it's basically because we made the category because. Um, the old any percent was just completing the game like it is right now. I, if I hit that switch, the game plays a lot. I'm just doing that. Oh yeah, double arm controls. Mm -hmm. Explain. Uh, you just kill the arms and the shoulders at the same time. Yeah. There's not much to explain. You just need good timing and you need to know how to be them. Yeah, it's just 10 hits on the arms and 5 on the shoulder. And I got the bow. Um. Thank you. 
Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I remember one time I uh <laughs> I remember one time I uh got like I got squeezed in between <laughs> those and I got an instant death and I had two masks. That's a terrible one. I've had that happen as well. Yeah. Just touch the edge of that. Alright, now give me this. Please, <laughs> just give me this. Dude, just jump. <laughs> Alright, I'll jump on it. We'll do it a casual way, like this. Whoa, that almost fell as well. Give me the mask. What a dick. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. Fucking game. So the level heats on. Please. Do this. <laughs> so the level Pete's on right now. I'll probably get hit. The level Pete's on right now has something called 3D jumping. You basically jump into the screen and then you jump back out. And uh, you'll jump around a lot of the wrong cycles there on on the level. The game tries to be 2D at this part, but it's actually 3D, so abuse that shit. That's how it works. Yeah, so whenever the pistons are down. Just do a jump around them, if you can, anyway. Please don't fail this. Good. So here the game freezes, I think. Is this a level? Not. Now it is. This this is a freeze on. Yes, too. I didn't freeze. I didn't freeze. That's supposed. Mm. I was supposed to freeze there, and I didn't even wait. I know that if you wait. Happens so like this. So may, maybe it's. You can sometimes go around it or something. No, I, I was clearly gonna freeze there, but the game freezes like for one second there and goes back. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't care. It's. I don't know how it didn't happen to me, but something <coughs> might Whoa, he's stuck in the boundary. It's a terrible run, stuck in warp four. Nice. <laughs> now he jumps backwards, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. I love when I miss him. This one. So, uh, this level has the pal only trick. Oh, yeah. I would have never thought about explaining that, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know, it's just, it's just something. It's another thing the people that play on NTCs tend to get angry about. It's like below 10 seconds, I think. So what he did there was he just spun the guy and kept pulling forward, and then you can go through him. Can't you go out of bounds in the jetpack area? Yeah, you can. It's useless, though. Yeah, definitely. Because you can't get back oh, in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Mystic Tomato killed me. What did you say? Tomato? Yeah. I never told them anything. I didn't, I never knew what they were. I think I know what they are. Just call them whatever. Call them what they look like. Oh, nice. Um, so, one thing that you actually told me about was that in this, in the, in these kind of levels, if you spin when there's like one of those things on the ground, like these things are spinning up, if you spin... Yeah. Um, spin jump there. Don't get hit. Yeah. By spinning, you pretty much just don't get hit. I mean, that was like my like second death or something. Never mind. It was too late. Oh, was it? Was it my second death? You've had more, I think. I'm just gonna save strat it and screw those bees. Mark, you're, you're like Whoa. counting. How many times did I die? <laughs> did you count? I probably died over Three. 10 times. You're useless. That's a, like... Like not three death. times in warp runners, warp one or so, four, five. Oh yeah, and this is a dark level. It's dark. Yeah. To make it pop or something. So here the game like uh, freezes twice. That's one. And once you destroy the arms. That was like eight on each arm, I'm fine. It's 
not that hard. I have a team engine for CTR. Oh yeah. Screw Coco. Why did you choose him? This is like the generic no game of baby user race for me. <laughs> it really does feel like it. It's just the same. I have some stupid deaths here and there, and then I get like a weird time. I think. <laughs> this run's pretty bad. I promised myself to not like say how bad the run is, but I didn't expect it to be that bad. Probably <coughs> wouldn't have talked about it that much if, I, if it wouldn't have been for that work one. That was terrible. I got a piston in the way. Three pixel perfect depths. Just, just a couple. Okay, yeah, break that box. What? Yeah, that wire. I love that wire. You got a piston in the way first. Yep. Please. Lost my mask immediately. I didn't want to think, so I just went to So, them. like, the enemies in this level are, like, really specific with what you can, like, kill in Like, those enemies right there. They're, like, assholes. Like, you can jump on them, and then this one... No, like, later on they start closing up. Like that. Like, now you can only spin and slide them. And then they... Now they... This one switches, like, at them, so you do that. So you gotta just watch them carefully. No! Okay. Boink. Bonk. Yeah. Didn't even hit that. So there's actually a funny thing in this level is that when, if you don't have a mask and you get hit by those lasers, you like shrink in size until you yes. are nothing and you have like two seconds of movement and if you fall in the bonus round okay, you, can you, save save. Your, you can save yourself you will die while you're in the bonus round and then you just spawn back outside yeah the because um if you die in a bonus round it doesn't count like lives off um and it's a checkpoint can you do that thing here yep you can jump on this Screen and die. <laughs> this is actually the first time I died doing that. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do it. I've only done it like twice. Terrible at it. Oh, come on. It doesn't like me now. Also, this level's oh, kind of unfinished. Like, well, like a minor detail is that you don't get the warp animation at the beginning of this level. You just, boom, you're there. That's what I meant to do. And you can just slide spin it on that blue screen. It's funny because it's like one second. <laughs> it doesn't save a lot of I've had legs in this room that I've never liked before. It's kind of funny. Also, the music in this stage is pretty good. I knew you would say that. Yeah, the, the what's it called, the remaster one? Or basically, we've heard um, like a part of this music before it was put on the PS1. Oh yeah, you can already prepare to tell me the time. Yeah. Because... It's on the third hit. Yeah, it's like... Wait a second. <laughs> and the final boss is pretty pathetic. Woohoo! Time. No! You got 48, you nice. Told you. <laughs> I'll finish up, I guess. That's, that means I can get like 
51. It's my, terrible. My PB is 47, 47. <laughs> Maybe he's 49 That's why I, I'm really bad and I struggle with sub 50. But Everybody seems to struggle with sub 50 except me and Rabbit. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I just don't play this game enough, that's what it is. I don't even play it that much anymore. It's fine. It, it's what I, I expected, really. It's very far off. I think I'm like three minutes off. Sky. I'm surprised I've had I haven't had like a death where I, well I almost had one where sometimes I try to jump over a pin. There's like the game developers are like, let's make the boundaries so awesome that they go over the level and you can hit them in your jump. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? I got stuck somehow. Why do they put like a fly at the end there? I've never exited with a fly. Or do we do that all the time? I think we do that all the time. Yeah, again, masks are useless in this, this workroom. Do we, do we only have one timer? Oh, I see. Things. Uh -huh. Bombs or something like that. Trying to be bombs, but they fail at it. Please. <coughs> two masks. Oh, good cycle for this guy. Oh, so you can get invincibility in uh, space now. It would be kind of cool. Nice if you theory. Could. Yeah. Let's let's make a wiki about it. Put on the. Wiki. I haven't grabbed a single checkpoint. Maybe far out of bounds. Oh, never mind. The potato victory. Let me pass. Oh. Uh, show game over reviews, I guess. Do you have time? Okay. How am I gonna do that? In a second. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the disc immediately. Have you even tried the Xbox controller? I, I, I need an Xbox for that. Um, okay, go get one. Rueke, Rueke, get Rueke. Yeah, go get it now. I guess I have a mask I'll try for this. Nope. Please. Okay. I'm not trying it now. Maybe I'll do it. Let's see. No. Oh. Move back. Get me, get me up there. This guy. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying that again. This time, Fucking scientist. Oh. oh, I didn't go through. Check one right there. Okay. <laughs> I think I need to just try to stay in the middle. Just 
in this thing. Alright, yeah, I get ready with the timer as well. The final boss is so pathetic. Like, he's bad, bro. Way better in the third game. And, time. Oh, it's terrible. Whatever. The race. The important part was it was a fun race. Crash, what do you suppose happened to Cortex? And what about the Cortex? Go ahead, Josh. Cortex? It's still up there. Hello, I'm back to butcher some uh, European names. Some donations. Uh, right. So, oh, this is a good start. We have five dollars from Anonymous because they didn't leave a name. I'll keep the mic on. It says, "Congratulations on 1K followers, Pete. Congratulations on 1.5K, Ricky." And we have another, <laughs> an another Anonymous donation here. It says, "Tell Pokey Girl to call me at." I'm not going to read the number out loud, but they say she seems like a nice person. Would like to get to know her. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to read your number out loud. If she wants it, she can come get it. <laughs> right, and I've got another anonymous donation, but they leave a name. It says, Beta here, go Pete, wreck those awesome, cra awesome crash games like you always do. Right, and uh, while they set up the uh, Xbox for crash, the next Crash game, I'm going to say uh, we are ESA, we're European Speedster Assembly. We're raising money for a charity. It's uh, Doctors of Our Borders. Um, they go all around the world helping everyone.